Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, welcome back, welcome back. My name is John Megacycle, this is another episode of Utopia, Creation of a Nation. We are on the first mission, really, Rendor 4. Ren Rendar? Rendar? Rendor? W which one is it? Rendor 4. And, uh, yeah. Things are moving pretty neat. I chose an earlier mission. Yes, compressed fuel tank, thank you. Um, I chose an earlier mission. I wanted to try out what I regarded like two seasons ago or whatever missions. I've been calling them seasons, so I'm not sure. But uh, two whatevers ago, I've been calling it the Solar Only Challenge. And we're doing just that. We're doing pretty solidly. I think this is episode two only. I'm getting, we're getting some pretty good clip here. Um, already threw about six tanks at the enemy. We're doing a crap ton of flux pods and solars, as you can see. Max power 220. That's more than enough for a month of power. Uh, you guys go to 8. Oh, cool. Hit points are up to 10 now. Which is very good. Uh, did I build that new security? I did. Okay, good. Um, how are we on power? Now that all the flux pods and all that stuff is done... 160, 135. At that rate, I'm producing 25. I need, what, eight, nine months to get my power, my batteries fully charged? Ugh. I don't like that. I need more solar. I uh, just built a bunch of residential and the ability to store fuel so we could do, I don't know, two, three more lines of solar. Realistically, I don't care if it takes eight months for the batteries to become charged. But the important thing is, I just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I like to be really ready, ready. Roger, roger, ready, ready, I don't know. Um, residential be completed at the end of, by the end of November. Please don't give me the message saying there's not enough people space. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, let's do that and that. Awesome, sell that food. And sell that tech. In oh, 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 I read that as cost one, not... Whoops, 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 whoops. Anyway, how are we doing on jobs and stuff? Uh, workshop needs... Uh, workshop is still growing. Security is still growing. Uh, more arms labs would be cool. There. that's That should do just fine. Another arms labs... Okay, things are looking pretty pretty snappish, pretty smart, pretty sharp. Uh, that's good for that. What else would be good? What else would be good? Um, I don't know where there's fuel yet. Um, more stores maybe? I'm not too sure. Let's check out a store and see how it is. Um, we're doing all right. Wouldn't mind two more stores. Like I said before, nothing's more painful than like stocking up a bunch on a product and then realizing, oh crap, I don't have any room for the stuff I'm regu regularly producing. 1,200, that's not bad. I'm going to want two or three more of those. There are times when the fuel goes all the way to one in price and that's when I stock up and that's what you can make. A ton of money. <laughs> uh, good, about 900 is what we're spending in the grants every month. That's fine. Um, kind of nothing, all right? So I said I wanted, what, three more stores. That looks good there. Uh, how are we on? Hey, fuel detector, awesome. Uh, what are you doing? Food's okay. Everything else looks okay. Housing, how are we doing there? Good. All those got built. Awesome. Um, okay, so storage. We're good on food, we're good on air. Um, I guess I wouldn't mind two more, one more workshop. 
I wouldn't mind building another three. Just keep that, keep that going. Now, let's check out fuel. Ugh, that looks like a whale. Kind of. Ah, looks like a whale to me. Anyway. Uh, not too bad. Pretty close, pretty close stuff. I'm not interested, really, in building up an, a fuel infrastructure. I, I really do, I don't have the money. I also, more importantly, don't have the power to do it. I'd rather just maintain the products that are easy to build. We need ore and weapons for tanks. Very straightforward stuff right there. Um, I could just spam out some tanks. Really get that going on. And I, I think that's my entire combat initiative, is just tanks. I'm not going to bother with an air force. Fuel is awesome, but I only plan on manipulating the market, to be honest. I don't plan on ever making it myself. No reason and no need. And... Money. Okay, that should be good growth for a while. Let's get that going on. Yep, so it looks like we're at $900 a month. Which is very affordable at this stage of the game. I can't sell anything, really? Ugh, lame. How are we on... Uh, let's see here. Weapons Engineers, that's still growing. Farmers is still growing. Uh, laborers is still growing. Security has stopped. Okay. Two more security is next. Still, when you think about it, even this early in the game, let's take a look at that. 40 for security, was it? So, what? Out of 560, 10% would be 400. So, what, 7%? I'd say 7% of our population is police force? Is that still really high? That feels really high to me. Maybe that isn't really high. Not sure. Uh, I don't... I don't look over police statistics uh, per capita, so I, I, I have no idea. Maybe that's normal. I know there have been some maps where I played where, like, I was joking last, uh, last mission or whatever, kind of turns into a police state because I get so paranoid about assassination attempts because hashtag I like to live. Where did that tank go? I tried to follow it, and it just kafrooshed. Wait a minute. Okay, I overshot like crazy. Two, four, six, yep. Uh, send another wave, maybe? Oh, seven. Uh, let's go six. The seventh one's all the way back there. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, end of January comes and goes... Three more security, that sits pretty nice. Hope I can make a little bit of money. I'd like to refund my grants. Uh, that's a good start. So, a little bit of weapons, that's even better. Okay, very good. So, one and two, that buys me another month. Nope, and the two goes there. I'm actually gonna increase the tax rate by 2%. These early beginnings are far more important to have that money in my pocket. Hydroponics. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Getting really close to needing more power, too. And more housing. Okay, so... Hydroponic, air, housing, power... Not in that order. Absolutely not in that order. If I can finish this guy off within the first three years, I'll be ecstatic. I've never done that before. Yeah, we employed a bit of a rush tactic getting those, uh... I'll, I'm just going to call them War Factories because video games. Um, played too much Generals, too much Command & Conquer, whatever. Um, getting those tank yards online. We did that on the quick, which is really good. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're going to do our trading first because I want to make sure our grants have monies in them. Yep, you need that. 
Sell the tech. Sell the food. Excellent. Sell the gems. I don't care about them. Little weapons? There we go. 300 in that regard should be good for a little bit. Under their life support. Spread these out a little bit if we can. That looks good. Um, housing was next. And we'll get another three houses. We just built that new security. So that should be good for a little bit. And then solar and flux pods like nuts. Ooh, spire poured in. Okay, we should be safe. Current defensive is proving unsuccessful. They are ready for the attack and no trouble with parallel net. Okay. I'm hoping that's only one tank that got through. Uh, just spread out the tanks. Yeah, go for it. Do, 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 Uh, we'll see. 220, yeah. We should be more than safe. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're good. Hydro's coming online for their advances in pollution control. That all sounds really good. There's that. Here's this. Ah, some tech to sell. No food to sell. Sell the gems, who cares? Yeah, sell a bit of that ore. That's good. Fuel is at exorbitant prices, as always. And get a few more solar panels down, no problem. Loving how quick they are to slap up. To just slap them together. That's pretty awesome. Pretty soon, I am going to want to double down on tanks, even if they're crap. I'm absolutely going to want to do that. Excuse me. Oh, the funny thing is, I in between last episode and now, I went to my kitchen, filled a jug of water to bring for my water break. I forgot it in the kitchen. Awesome. <laughs> I am awake. I am the element of awake. Solar eclipse is over. Month of April comes and goes. 53 stored power still. Yep. Shows the system works. You're kidding. Uh, okay, that's the first time I've had two eclipses at the same time. Thanks, game. You proved my system wrong. And you suck. <laughs> ah, sell the tech. Sell the ore. That's a, what, few thousand or whatever. I'm not buying weapons. Thank you for the offer. Okay. Just wrap the whole business in solars. Two more flux pods if we could. We can't this month, but that would be awesome if we could. Not built a single mega power plant yet. They're just called power plants, but technically the solar plants are technically power plants as well. I don't know if there's a distinction in between what is a power facility and what's a power plant. I don't know if there's a difference. Yeah, developing well. Awesome. Lots of that developing well is, is what I like to see. Oh, power station. Hmm. Play so many games. Games call them different things. I can't keep track. Nasty virus. Okay. Oh, I don't want to build a power station. No, 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 no. Uh, just like, uh, I played a series of Infinifactory. I'm not too sure if this will get released before that, but 
there's an item in there called a welder, and I kept calling it soldering. Like, let me solder these two things together. I don't know why. Couldn't get it out of my head. At all. Don't know why. Of course, of course, we're short on power. We're not out of power, which is good. I'm really not building this system to sustain two months. We didn't produce any tech. Awesome. Uh, I'll sell a little weapons. There we go. Okay, so what are we at for capacities now? 220. This will get us to 280. And we should be producing... I built. I just built a crap ton. Oh, right. No production, because Eclipse. <sighs> well, at least my command center's online, even if my radar and stuff is not. Uh, tank yards. Where are you, buddy? There you go. <clears throat> I want another four tank yards. Absolutely. Yeah, see, radars are offline. A little spinny thing ain't spinning no more. A little spinny thing ain't spinning no more. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I should check uh, population density. Mm, I should turn that to medium soonish. I want to start expanding my war effort. I need the money. Uh, medium is fine. Send one tanks to whatever, to eight. Thank you. More research, the better. We started at 8 hit points, and they'll end at 20, I think? Or maybe they'll end at 16? I don't remember what the final tech is, because we've been finishing this game faster and faster. Thank you, back online. I'm back online, and it feels so good. Yeah, our lab shut down too. No, no lab was... No lab grants were spent. Sell the food, I'll sell the ore, I've got plenty on hand. I'm definitely gonna sell that gem. And that's good. Okay, four more tank yards. Do I do two more on top of that? Maybe. Um, okay, so here's the important check. After an eclipse has occurred, 59 power, that's good power, that, that's not bad. 256, wow, that was lucky. Uh, producing about, yeah, that 59. So what? Four months? Five months? That's not bad. As the game ages and as our base becomes bigger and bigger, it's going to be harder and harder to get that to a good level. Yeah, I want three more on top of this. Do, 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 do. Three more... And then two more mines, and then three more arms, and then probably back to power and infrastructure. Make sure we have enough stuff. Food, air, water, fire, earth, heart, powers combined, Captain Planet. You got it. <laughs> uh, earth, fire, wind, water, heart. There it is. Still early! It's still so early. <laughs> That's okay. So there's the three I wanted. Let's check budgets. That'll be good for two months now. 1800 divided by 900 is two. All right. Yeah. Is that sell a little weapons, sell all the ore. That did not afford me much, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Any amount of increase is good increase. Uh, mines. Two more mines, three more arms labs. That should do us up pretty good. And I kind of want to space these out a little. Build a little bit of an imaginary net. So that way I can just come here quick and I know I can just fill in the gaps. So something like that. And then one more like that for August. And it should be looking pretty good after that. Our ore production isn't something I really need to dial in. Like, the ore production itself was looking pretty good, but this is one of those things when I'm selling it on the side. I want to make sure we've got the plenty. The good and the plenty. There we 
go. Awesome. Nine tank yards. That's awesome. So, there's that. We've got one more month of that. Sell the tech. Sell the food. I don't care at what price. I'm selling it regardless because it keeps the capacity within my stores low. I don't have to have a ton of that. Okay, so I'd like to build two more arms labs unless you tell me otherwise. You have not told me otherwise. You have not told me otherwise. Okay. We're looking kind of close to our production, but arms labs take a while to build, so I'd rather concentrate on those first. 42 days, I can slap down two of them, get that started. So something like this, and this, and that doubles? No, I already had three. Uh, next is power. Of course, of course, of course. Why would it not be power? <laughs> Just acres of solars. This challenge is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It is still difficult, but it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be, which is a good sign. Uh, I want to wait till we have maybe a dozen or so tanks. Oh yeah, that's a clean shot, no matter how you slice it. Noise. Noise. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, this could not be done on Gamma Lucra at all. At all. This uh this on the final level, no way. No way. <laughs> uh nothing worth anything there. Crap, was there tech I could have bought? Ugh, I clicked through that menu so fast. Ooh, long distance radar, awesome. Uh, two more flux pods, probably. I can store 220? Yep, I'm gonna need more. I can't survive. I'm now in a dangerous position where I'm unable to survive a, an outage. Oh, 280, right. Um, oh, that's right, I built those three more. 280, yeah, we're looking good on that, in that regard. I do want three more, though. Um, having that excess is what saved us from a complete outage before. So we had an eclipse, we had one month of sunshine, and then another eclipse. I think that's how that worked. Um, regardless, having that extra surplus saved us, because we were, we were, it was di the difference between a brownout and a blackout. Some services were not working, but we were not offline. We were still able to trade and stuff, which was great. Some good money right there. Yeah, when you build solars <laughs> and you're deciding that's the way you're gonna make your power bread and butter, you gotta go all in. More often than not. Um, it looks like we're spending 1100 now. Sell all the ore I can. Yeah, I could have bought tech for one. Dang it. That's okay. So there's a bunch more solars, two more flux pods. And then we need to move to residential and security and probably power and probably food and probably, oh my gosh, I'm out of food. Okay, we're looking good. So power consumption was what, two, I just already forgot it, 250? 252, let's say it's gonna be 275. I just built two more flux pods, which will put this at 320. Uh, we're looking good. Okay, that's at least one full clean month. Good, and we are just chunking out tanks. We have our we have our 12. Awesome. All 12 to 8. I'll swing by there in a minute, and then we'll do another push. Even if we're only nicking up a few structures, like, you know, just damaging the paint or whatever, I like to make sure that we're still providing the threat. I still want to be threatening to them. Even if we're just keeping them on the ropes a little bit, not complete destruction. Want to keep them not 
not, uh, ooh, 12, awesome, uh, hit points. I want to make sure that we're not giving them any time to relax. Like I said, even if, even if we're not destroying their base immediately, I just want to make sure we're, make sure they're alive. Give them a, give them a bit of a hip check, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hockey turn. Hip, uh, you hit him with, you hit your, you hit him with your hip. I don't know how else to explain it. Space Moss Converter. Awesome. I'm done reading those. You guys have seen it now six times. Five times? You've seen it a bunch. Sell tech at five? Absolutely. Ooh, sell ore at eight. Absolutely. Okay. Really glad we expanded up a bit. I'm not buying gems. I'm not messing with gems ever. Just absolutely, totally, completely not worth it in my opinion. There's that. And food. Another four facilities for food ought to do us just fine. Uh, end of year three. If those 12 tanks commit victory, I will be ecstatic. This will be the fastest I've ever played this. And without the aid of the mega power plants either. Power stations, whatever. And the trick to that has been keeping our population low. Ah, really? Ugh. Man, those things are expensive. So, three more hydroponics, four more security, four more workshops. That sounds pretty good. There's four of that. I need another life support. Okay, and then security always comes first. Something like that looks good. Sell the tech, sell the food. That looks good to me. little strange I haven't seen anything about the enemy base it takes a while for combat it can take months for combat to resolve however that actually works I don't know um so I'm not super duper gunning for it to be completed but I am I am interested dang it it's hoping for important news oh this is what we can tell you about the aliens they call themselves the Eldorians and resemble giant insects around seven feet tall. Now, how come this uses feet and the other one used meters? Like, dude, pick one. They have a dark and leathery skin and large bulbous eyes. They walk upright and have two pairs of hands and arms. You couldn't tell me that, like, day one? Here, take these binoculars. We're behind this rock. All right, what can you tell me? Ah, uh, large insect, uh, probably six, six, five, maybe seven feet tall. Uh, oh, look at that. He's got two sets of arms and legs. Look at that there. Ain't that, ain't that ding. Look at that. Like, that's all what would have had to been done. Grrr, that's okay. <laughs> I'm making, I'm making a big deal out of no deal. <laughs> okay. Earth commends you for your cleaner industry. Thank you, Earth. All of Earth. Okay, now it looks like we're consuming 1100 uh, dollars in my research grant. Okay, that's more security, more workshops now. Ore detector, awesome. Let's take a look. Wow, there's a good amount on this map. Yeah, that's that's pretty substantial. That's pretty awesome. Can I build uh, an advanced radar? 2,500, dang. Um, I do want to expand my vision, and this over here I don't really have much. Much at all. Oh my goodness. Big stretch. I need to go grab my water for my water breaks, but we're going to wait until February comes and... Oh, spy report in. Our spies have been studying the military research of the alien race have the following to report. The Eldorian weaponry is very primitive and relies on their ability to fly. Most of their weapons are airborne and are explosives dropped from a height. Okay, makes sense. 
Uh oh. Do I have enough power stored? I hope I do. 320. Okay, yep. More than enough. No big deal. Should be able to walk away from this outage unscathed. But I am going to pause here before February calls a close. Thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. We're on uh, Rook Bar 4. Rook, I can't ever. I don't know why. I can't remember these. Rendor 4. Trying the solar only challenge. This has been an interesting one so far. And I hope you all have enjoyed. I know I have. Thank you for joining me. And I'll catch you next time.